Maybe let's show this. What do y'all see this? Larry's just showing me something here. See that lip right there? Yes, we can see. Okay, so you see these cars, these right here, and the corresponding corresponding marks on the breather. Now watch, this is what happens with the breather times engine breeze. It inhales, now it's exhaling. You see that big mark right there? And yep. You see that piece right there that's nice and shiny, looks like it just came off. See all those corresponding marks? Hmm. So technically we can, maybe we wanna, we can file that off and make it not so sharp because every sharp point is a, is a bad point. But if you can, now that I cleaned out the, can they see inside that? Yep. Yep, I see that. And they're just deeper. The, the closer they go inside, closer to the flywheel, the deeper they are. Okay. Well, you're going to have to do some thinking on that one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I can't look over Right. Ah! <laughs> I put a, a Barnett clutch in my bike so it grabs a little faster. So boom, I did a wheelie. Go fuck scared the shit out of myself. Okay. So this is the other thing you want to look at. You see, remember what I told you, the, the two lines? Did you want to put a light on that? Or? I don't know if we can see it really. You do see that much. fine line there, is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah. yeah see that? See more. those two lines that you have there? You see this? Yep. See how the heart there and there? Yep. It matches the cam lobe that we were talking about earlier. See how that, yep. those marks match those? Yep. That's, that's the lifter that goes on here. So, I think what I did later, like we were just talking, I think we replaced that cam without doing the lifters. Right. And it's going to show there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we'll continue to keep going. Pull on out. So we're going to touch base on this a little bit. So we're breaking this day down in multiple videos, as you can see, because we can all see that we're wearing the same clothes. And we're kind of <clears throat> breaking it down a little bit more so you guys don't have to watch so much, so many minutes in, in one video. And we're covering a lot of great information. And another thing on top of it too, it's a lot to soak in for me because I'm learning stuff. And then I'm learning that it's gonna cost me more money and we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. So that's where we're gonna pick up right now. After seeing what the case looks like, the breather, mm -hmm. what'd you call it? Breather, it's a breather gear. Breather gear, how the how that's really kind of marred up the the casing there it kind of threw me off a little bit so we took a little bit of break but we're, what we're going to do now is go ahead and take off the uh oil pump and see what's going on in that we got it we got the lifters off there was no surprise there the lifters has marks on them with the cam and what i'm starting to remember it's been five years ago guys it's been some time back i i had a cam bearing go out and i think i had a guy put in a different cam but we didn't put in lifters and it's it's showing right now for sure um, we don't know what size that <coughs> cam is. It is a S and S, and it has 510 on it. Right. But we just haven't looked up the specs. Yet. Larry's going to look up the specs later and see what that is, and then we're going to see what we go back with. You guys will stay tuned, and we'll show you all that. So right now, we'll take apart the uh, oil pump, and we're going to see what what are we hoping for the best on this. We open it up and we go, oh good, let's put it back together. Okay. That's the ideal situation. But the real reality of it, with all the metal that we had in the bottom of it, and so coming from the breather, 
did the breather spit it out and put it in the bottom so the oil pump can then suck it in how we don't know where it went so that's the hard part we're we're, we're taking away the guessing because we're going to take it off and find out because that circlip looked twisted a little bit and yeah that could, have, that could have been from installation right and staff would drop that in real quick right here that's when uh Larry had his thumb down there, and we could see that clip coming off. It's odd. Isn't it? Yeah, it shouldn't be like it, but that could have been when he installed it, and it's just been held together for five years. That'd be an awesome, uh, but I don't think that's reality. I think no. the reality is we'll pull this off. There's going to be a lot of wear with our gears, and hopefully it's only one side, the all the, the feed side or the return side, but. Because of we found that piece of gasket in here, that means that gasket went all the way through the motor, so it's probably going to be on both sides of where it's going to be on both sides, the feed and the return, because of that gasket went all the way through the motor. See, and I'm picturing that in my head. Now, I've never seen the inside of the oil pump, so I'm fixing to find out what it looks like. Right. And there may be a lot of you guys out there that haven't seen it either. So right now, Larry's going to tell me step by step what to do, and uh, I'll take that apart. First of all, I guess I get to take off the lines. Yeah, take off the oil lines. Yeah, okay, cool. And there's gonna be oil everywhere. Yeah. Get oil up in here. Yeah, it's kind of a you know you you dig into this stuff. You you kind of expect what to expect. Like there's gonna be some stuff fucked up, but then when you get more and more fucked up shit, it does. You you start tallying up what it's gonna cost you. You know, and it it's it, it makes you slow down a little bit. It makes you pause, and your, your head kind of goes numb. So which one? Let's let's just let's let's have some fun with it. Okay. Um, we're gonna take the top one off. What do you think this line is for? Uh, return. Is it return or breathing? Or is it a feed? It's on top, so it has to be breathing. So let's pull that off and yeah, pull it off and see if anything comes out. Okay, so. That's fun. I know it's I know it's a breathing because you're not gonna let me make a mess. Yes I am, because it's gonna be <laughs> yeah, it'll be funny for me. And probably funny for everybody else. It'll be funny. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay, well it has I don't know, now it's got me nervous. Good God, come on, Larry. Well that remember it's been on it for a minute, so yeah. it's gonna be I feel like I should torque on it with this but you you can we're going to replace it anyway okay, good. because again we don't know how long it's been there that's what she said my oh. nose is, well see look at it see it's already uh, cut it's cut right here so oh, we're going to need a piece of shit anyway. we're going to replace it but is it full of air or full of oil it's full of sweet gonna take my money yes yeah come on so no matter what it's going to be expensive no matter how you do that everything uh, Come on. I'm telling you right now, these bib overalls are not paying off. The, the bottom half of me feels like it's on fire. I'm just really going into a lot of sweats right now. Profusely butt drips. God. That's a long little tit. Okay, God, I'm glad it didn't happen because it went right in my face. <laughs> so I can go ahead and take that completely off? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. Damn it. See? <laughs> I don't know. This is just going to fall off. Now that'll drain, though, really, won't it? It's a breather. So it should be the up very, here. It should be the very, very super top of the uh, okay. oil cooler. In here. Yep. Yeah. Enough. Perfect. Okay, so so I just put that over there because we're gonna cut one to length. Okay. Now we're gonna get into which one's the feed. So this is the feed. So if you don't want oil dripping on you, pump that on there. That's nice. Oh, about it, here. Yeah, put it up here so it. Can you hold your thumb in there? Yeah. Ow, my eye. So how tough that go there? Right? Tight. That's just. It tight. looks like it's rotting away too. I like that. I like how I placed it. My, apparently it wasn't properly placed. Okay. It's gonna make a little mess, but. Yeah. 
And we're probably going to replace that too, but we're, we've got to see how bad. Feels salt. Does it? Yeah, that's what she said. That's how the wind blows. Okay. Got a little bit of drainage. Yeah, that's alright. So we just want to tuck it up and away. Yeah, we just turn it. See? These are the little, little tracks. That's where you'd put it. Yep. There, you put it there. Okay. Now we'll rip this one off. No? Nope, you don't have don't to. Have to do that one. Not yet. Okay, so now I need to take these or this. See, now with that. an oil pump, you've got to be real careful because it's really, um, it's you've got three, you've got one, two, and it's hooked to the third section. You see what I mean? But look down here. You see right here, this is solid lines. Oh, yes, I do. These That's are the same. solid lines to here. Yeah. So you've got to take that off or you've got to take this off. Does that make sense? Yep. Because you will not be able to take, you loosen these up yeah. and those are still attached, Plum. so you're, you're not doing any good. Plumb them, place hard plumb yeah. them. Okay. okay. Which one would you do? It depends on how, again, we're going to probably have to do both anyway. Because we want to see, if we really want to get intense with this, we're going to pull the filter off and we're going to take the lines off and we're going to blow air yeah. through this. Yeah. So we can make sure that that piece is not just hanging out in this little yeah. valley here or over here or in this 90 degree. Oh yeah, shit, makes sense. Yeah. So it just okay. depends on what you want. And don't forget the lifts go up and down higher so we can oh, yeah. so get I'll it up higher. Yeah, yeah, so you, because you're not getting any under. No, I'm not. I guess I'll just, uh, do I just take this one loose? You can take both of them. There should be one on the other side too. Okay, yeah. You see, that the hard part is with a custom frame, everything might be right in your way. I think it's going to be well. Of so maybe it's why would it not be so much fun i mean if you're thinking about getting a motorcycle and haven't got one yet i'd really rethink what you're thinking not sure if you really thought through it but if you're like us and you just think oh fuck this is gonna be fun go get a motorcycle it is good fun. this yeah. whole thing is fun it's fun i mean like i said i love it's motorcycles fun. so much i made my daughter harley it's fun it is fun it's it's the best Again, this it's, thing doesn't care what no, it costs, it's cool. how much time. It wants it to go down the road. Okay. So what did, did you decide to do? I think I'll just do the plumbing. Okay, so let's... Lift it. Well, you tell me when I to stop. Then it's going to install a bit. Pretty good spot. Right there? Yeah. Okay. We can go higher if you want. No. That's nice. Okay. Now that is a three quarter. No, a three quarter. If that's what you think it is. You've been been right all day. I don't want to do this. No, I was wrong. God, two years is trying to make me feel good. Two years. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, I knew that's what you were saying. Wow, that's loose. Is it? Yeah, I mean, pretty fucking loose. Is that even tight? No. Were we leaking there? Something was leaking literally right there. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. It's a chopper. Yeah. Well, it's a motor chopper. Yeah, this is the frustrating part where you can only go one flat at a time because that's all the frame will allow you to do. Because again, you just didn't, when people design things, they don't think about other people having to take other things apart. No. Because that's what always makes me nervous because those go directly into your engine case. And that becomes an expensive thing because if that stripped out, we have to get, we have to take the motor out. Oh, fuck. So many things that can go. Okay, now I did it. I can go after it. Now you can get after it. Okay. Learning crisscross quarter. Quarter. Wow, it gets quiet in here, don't it? Yeah. How is it? Four o'clock. What time you should know? Six. Jeez, it's a long day. So you, I gotta be careful when I take this oil fell apart because there's multiple layers. Right, and you've got your first layer that you're taking off now, which is right here. Then you got your second layer here. But remember, you have your intake gears and your your 
your in gears and out gears all in the, in the that's why you have to take care of it and then plus it's all connected by one shaft okay with cotter pins in it holding the gears yeah so all of that and are these always the same no they're different um different years different things because that 86 is different i mean 89 sorry that one was just wrong what this is well it's after that I'll just call it a John Cash version. It is, it is. Just pasted it in the code. That's what I have to tell you about. Okay, now the only bad part is, is hopefully you can pull that bolt out without hitting that thing. Oh, that I welded in there? Yeah, that you welded in there. I knew that, that's why. That's why you built that. Okay, right, so, so I got to place this right. Yes, sir. Now, how the hell are you keeping this straight? Don't know, it ain't me, it's you, it's your bike. I don't oh. care. Because I can shuffle it all up and put it together. You tell me how you want it then. Um, just, I guess on a red, put it, yeah, and I'm going to do layers. this. Looks an idea. We're gonna this is how I'd do it. I'd be like, this is out. Then I'd put one here. That'd be the bottom, and then this or this. However you want to remember it. Oh, fuck. I hope they're the same length. Nope. They're not the same length. No, hopefully. We don't know because we, we didn't we don't have any idea what this motor is so hopefully they are what they're supposed to be we don't know we found surprises before all right let's see that looks like the same way so that's yeah that side that side this will be top that side okay now i'm going to pull, pull back pull back just a little bit to get this part off the your solid mm -hmm. line off there you go oh, Perfect. Good. So what we want to look for is anything on this side. See how it's wearing? We're looking at the wear marks. And then you're trying to run your fingers on feel that grit. Feel that grit and stuff that's right here. Yeah. That's the grit that's going to your motor all the time. But now you can see why these these washers are the way they are. Yep. Kind of like, I, mean, I get it. But to remember to go back to say, it would be hard. Okay, so now these two have to come loose to get that loose? Well, what do you, what do you see in here? What is that? Fucking gears. Right. Can I wipe it off of this? You can. Because we're going to clean it anyway. See how that oil is squished in there? See how the oil is forced to work? That's how the pump works. Ah. So you seen anything that's just horrible? Well, the only thing, again, we this, this clip on this, Yes. This thing here, I'm not really digging, but we're gonna have to take this side off anyway, so yeah. we can take take that gear off. That's that little clip. Mm -hmm. Get it? Yes. Cool. Okay. 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 So yes, now you can loosen up and take off all the other ones. Okay. Because then when we try to pull that off, this shaft will then go. And that will just fall off. Yeah, that gear will fall off and everything will go that direction. So does it come off the shaft? It will go all the way back. There we go, there's our gear. Oh, it's the shaft in that. Mm -hmm. the, yep, yep. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. Oh, I see what you're saying. These have been used a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what we're fighting right now is to get the shaft out of the oil pump. And I welded this bracket on to put this mid point peg. Horseshoe. 
So I'm trying to get the ring off of that pin, which has been a biatch. That's your wear mark in between, when it's in between the, in between the, in and out. That's right, that's right. Mm -hmm. this, this gear might fall out. Okay. okay. So that's that okay. coming? That's good, that part's good. But the, the hardness wore off the shaft. So that means there was something. Something went inside. Because this is locked in here, this, this, this is going to spin like this. This is key. Yeah. So it has to spin with this inside of it. It's right. So there's something that got in between this piece and this piece. Is that just a grit? Well, it can be because it's it's loose. You can, you know, you can feel it more than you see it. Wow. I've learned that having a motorcycle it's so much fun, it causes internal stress. You gotta roll with it. So maybe that, I, I can order just a new pin? Well, we can see what, we'll see what we can order and what we can't. Wow, that's gonna get some time just figuring out what we're seven to, seven to 10 days to get parts, if they have parts, and if they still make the part, if we don't have to give it up to market. Blah, 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 that's the thing. And see, this is where your sensor your oil pressure sensor is. We're supposed to be. But how do we, how would I put it? You'd have, you'd have to you'd have to wire the bike up for it. But you find it there to it's a good gauge. But I'm not gonna worry about that now. Yeah. This is gonna turn into a but man we're we'll boxing alone. We hope so, yeah. Because it'll be almost brand new when we done this. Gonna be brand new. And it's going to outrun anything Larry has. That's what he said. He says, I guarantee you, when we get done with your chopper, it's going to be the fastest fucking thing in Boone in County. In his mind. It'll be the fastest thing in his mind. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Yeah, come in. <laughs> Alright, come on.